like tornadoes? <laughs> because there's possibly going to be some tornadoes today. Hi, I'm Haley from TornadoHQ.com. And here's a look at what's in effect as of the time that this video is being filmed. This is TornadoHQ.com, by the way. Showing the warnings as of right now. No tornado warnings, but that may well change. Not only are tornadoes possible today, but uh, some, what were they saying? Some hurricane force winds. That's a, that's a fun thing to be throwing around. Here's an example of how this outlook has shaped up, which is that it started off as a marginal risk, which is a one out of five on the scale. Storm Prediction Center then bumped it up to a two out of five. And then now we're at the four out of five stage. And that's, I like to show this stuff because it's an example of why it's good to be paying attention and seeing how things are progressing. Let's talk about specific threats. On the plus side, there's no black hatched area with the tornado map, where yesterday we did have like the black hatched area where things were favorable for EF2 and greater tornadoes. Doesn't mean that they're not possible. It's just the, what the dynamics, whatnot is not there, but it is as high as a 10% chance. Not great. Also, 5% chance in the southeast again. And then we do have the black hatched risk on the wind map. Winds would be any type of severe wind would be like roughly 60 mile per hour and greater. The black hatched area is where the 75 mile per hour and greater winds are somewhat favorable. And then as high as a 45% chance of severe winds. It's, it's a complicated thing, but it's like within a point Within 25 miles of a given point that's in that 45% area, there's almost a one out of two chance that like if you're in it, you or a neighbor within 25 miles of you will see some severe wind. Hail is a similar looking map where they've got the 45% chance again and a black hatched area. So on hail, one inch or larger is considered severe. Two inch or larger would be where the black hatched would be indicating of what could be possible. And here's a look at the watches that are in effect as of right this second. The reds would be the tornado watches. Blues would be severe thunderstorm watches. Yes, today. Today would be a very good day to be paying attention again if you're in one of these affected areas. Is apparently things are just kicking off. Oh, speaking of things that you should pay attention to, there is, of course, the severe weather threat into the weekend going up to Sunday. And then, of course, some of these are predictability too low. So next week, we could be seeing some more severe weather. It's just, you know, the certainty is not there yet for the Storm Prediction Center to put something on the map. That is it for me today. And I hope you're staying safe out there. <laughs>